In a groundbreaking astronomical discovery, scientists have detected ghost particles known as neutrinos emanating from the center of our galaxy. Neutrinos, which are amongst the lightest elementary particles in the standard model of physics, have long been elusive due to their weak interactions with matter. This remarkable finding marks the first time astronomers have been able to create a new map of our galaxy, not through traditional light observations, but by capturing these elusive matter particles. As we expand our understanding of the Milky Way's portrait, from gamma rays to radio waves, this new road depicting our galaxy in neutrino light has added a previously unseen dimension to our cosmic view. So how did astronomers find out that these particles are really coming from the center of our galaxy? Why are neutrinos referred to as the ghost particles of nature? Finally, and most importantly, what significance does the discovery of neutrinos from the galactic center hold for astronomers? In the vast cosmic ballet of particles, one group stands out, the neutrinos, often referred to as the ghost particles. These elementary particles belong to the lepton class, meaning they possess half-integral spin and are indivisible themselves. Neutrinos come in three types, electron neutrino, tau neutrino, and muon neutrino, each linked to corresponding fundamental particles. The electron, muon, and tau Although neutrinos do not serve as building blocks for other matter, they hold immense significance in the cosmic play. The extraordinary properties of neutrinos set them apart from other elementary particles. First, they are electrically neutral, which means even the strongest magnets cannot detect their presence. Second, they have almost negligible mass, making them elusive to interactions with regular matter. Traveling at nearly the speed of light, they glide straight through stars, planets, and even our bodies, with approximately 100 billion neutrinos passing through each square centimeter of your body every second. This means trillions of neutrinos are passing right through us each second, and we can't even notice it. This eerie ability has earned them the apt nickname, ghost particles. Despite their subtle presence, neutrinos play a vital role in our quest to comprehend the universe's intricacies. You must be wondering that, what's the origin of these particles? Well, neutrinos arise from various nuclear processes, both in natural and artificial settings. Among the most common occurrences leading to neutrino generation are high-energy reactions involving protons and atomic nuclei. Such reactions can be artificially induced in nuclear reactors, nuclear bombs, or particle accelerators. On the astrophysical front, Neutrinos can emerge naturally from nuclear reactions, transpiring in the cores of stars. An interesting fact is that the majority of neutrinos detected on Earth originate from nuclear reactions within the Sun, resulting in a flux of approximately 65 billion solar neutrinos per second per square centimeter at the Earth's surface. In addition to these sources, neutrinos also emerge during a supernova event. However, the highlight of a recent study lies in the formation mechanism of neutrinos in association with cosmic rays. These cosmic rays are high-energy particles emanating from various sources in space, and when they interact with atoms, they produce neutrinos. For many years, Researchers believe that high-energy neutrinos originated solely from galaxies beyond our Milky Way. However, astronomers have long suspected that our own galaxy, the Milky Way, could serve as a source of such neutrinos. One intriguing process that can generate both gamma rays and high-energy neutrinos within our galaxy occurs when cosmic rays collide with the dust and gas present in the interstellar space. Let's take a closer look at how this fascinating phenomenon unfolds. When cosmic rays interact with the interstellar medium, they can give rise to an unstable particle known as a pion. Pions consist of a quark and an antiquark, and there are three types, 
positive, negative, and neutral. The charged pions have relatively short lifetimes of around 26.033 nanoseconds before they decay. On the other hand, the neutral pion has an even shorter lifetime of about 85 attoseconds. As neutral pions undergo decay, they emit gamma rays, whereas the breakdown of charged pions result in the production of highly energetic electron neutrinos. Previous research endeavors have successfully detected gamma rays originating from the Milky Way's plane, leading scientists to anticipate the presence of high-energy neutrinos in that region as well. However, as mentioned earlier, neutrinos interact very weakly with matter, making their detection a highly challenging task. Nevertheless, although intricate, it is not an impossible feat for researchers to detect and study these elusive ghost particles, and the way it's been done on the south pole of the Earth is going to blow your mind. The detection of high-energy neutrinos on Earth demands meticulous precision and significant patience. In this endeavor, facilities like IceCube play a crucial role. Situated at the Abundance in Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica, IceCube stands as a colossal detector composed of 5,000 optical sensors suspended along 86 strings. These strings extend deep into Antarctic ice through holes drilled up to an impressive 1.56 miles or 2.5 kilometers. The majority of neutrinos traverse the Earth without any interference. Occasionally, they interact with water molecules. Such interactions give rise to muons, which manifest as flashes of light inside the detector sensors. By analyzing the patterns of these light flashes, researchers can reconstruct the energy and, in some cases, even pinpoint the source of the detected neutrinos. However, accurately locating the source of a neutrino largely hinges on the clarity with which its initial direction is recorded in the detector. While certain neutrinos exhibit well-defined trajectories, others can produce intricate cascades of light, creating fuzzballs that obscure their origins. As a result, confirming a detection and determining its origin may necessitate a substantial number of observations. In this groundbreaking study, Researchers harnessed the power of machine learning to analyze more than 60,000 detected neutrino cascades collected over a decade. By inputting this vast dataset into their algorithm, they generated a captivating map unveiling the sources of neutrinos scattered across our galaxy, as depicted in this figure from the research paper. In this map, the galactic plane is represented by a gray curve, and the galactic center is marked with a dot. The darkest points on the map highlight the regions with the most significant emission excess. When comparing this neutrino map with maps obtained at optical and gamma ray frequencies, a striking observation emerges. The neutrinos overwhelmingly originate from regions with previously detected high gamma ray counts. To obtain this neutrino map, the researchers meticulously filtered out background neutrinos, especially muon neutrinos which originate from interactions in Earth's atmosphere and can significantly interfere with the detection of astrophysical neutrinos. The distinct straight tracks generated by muon neutrinos allowed for easy particle direction reconstruction, a crucial aspect of neutrino astronomy. The team's innovative application of machine learning techniques allowed them to include 20 times more events in their data set enhancing the directional information and ultimately leading to more accurate and precise results compared to previous studies. Upon exploring the statistics, the neutrino flux observed at the galactic center surpasses the background noise by approximately 4.5 times, representing a significant 4.5 sigma detection. While it falls just shy of the conventional 5 sigma threshold for high confidence, the surplus of observed neutrinos from the galactic plane provides compelling evidence that the Milky Way serves as a source of high-energy neutrinos. This discovery is a notable breakthrough, considering that the study of celestial phenomena has mainly relied on photons for observation. Now with the use of neutrinos as a tool for mapping our universe, we stand at the threshold of a thrilling prospect, gaining new insights into the cosmos by harnessing particles that were once scarcely detectable.
It opens up exciting possibilities to perceive reality in an entirely new manner and expands our ability to explore the mysteries of the universe. Recently, a study using James Webb data showed that the universe could be 26.7 billion years old, almost twice the currently accepted age. If you missed this episode, be sure to catch up on this intriguing finding.